everybody, I want to wheeze here. We just unboxed the beautiful Born Bash Roller Brawl. Again, one of my favorite Skylanders to date. Very, very stoked that Vicarious Visions brought her back. I will say, though, I thought if they had to make a choice, they would have gone for uh, Star Strike. That seemed to be one of their favorites. And I think the popularity of Pop Fizz is probably what nullified that. But still, they got in with Roller Brawl, and she is fantastic, especially Supercharged. This is interesting because we're unboxing it now, yet we've done everything with her. Introduction, base upgrades, Path 1, Path 2, Waller Derby, Brawler Derby. Uh, we've done her quests, we've done her uh, supercharge challenge. So anything you want to see on this awesome chick you can find. But let's take a good look now at the Tomb Buggy. Now my goal, it took forever to find these two characters. I don't know why, but they just didn't exist locally. And uh, I was going to try to do the combo pack because I thought that would be the way to go, save a little money. I was wrong because what GameStop did, again, there's quite frequently you can find these things like 50% off. It's crazy. And uh, $15.99, again, basically, I came in, got these two coupled together for less money than the combo pack. So uh, always do your math, always maximize your savings. That said, what we have here, it is the Tomb Buggy, the Grave Panther. It is a pretty sweet little vehicle. It looks like something you would sort of see like a... I haven't seen the new one. I don't really watch movies, but the old Mad Max. Uh, you know, it sort of looks like something you would see in the desert when you wandered too far from, like, civilization. Uh, so it's very, very cool with that vibe, but it's obviously an undead element vehicle. And of course, as you should be able to tell from a sort of like dune buggy, tomb buggy uh, vibe, it is a land vehicle. So that means we can use it a lot, is basically how I translate that. In the packaging, it looks pretty cool. I think it's going to look even better once we unbox it. Vehicles work just the same way. In your hand onto the portal into the game. There is an inset box art of this bad boy. And it is a sweet little ride, I must tell you. So, uh, Tomb Buggy, Battle Villains, Customized Vehicle Parts in Game. You match the character with the signature vehicle. And you get the supercharged combination that you can see there. Uh, other featured vehicle, Thump Truck, Splatter Splasher, Shield Striker, and of course, our lovely Tomb Buggy. So, let's open this thing up so we can do this proper. I will say, yes, everything that I have done with her and the Tomb Buggy has actually been done while they're in the box. It's very hard to do, though, uh, I will say. Uh, you have to position everything just right. Um, I've had a couple people here lately tell me that they've been having like serious issues with their vehicles not registering and stuff. For some reason, it's not as bad as it was in SSA and Giants, but I always wind up like troubleshooting things for people. <laughs> and uh, what I found, man, Dive Bomber for me will not register on the portal. And the trick I found is if I put it over the Traptanium slot, it reads perfect. And then that frees up more space. But generally what I do with these when they're in the packaging, I put them back to back. I found that's the best way. So if you're the type that... You love this stuff, but you collect it, you want to display it, and you prefer to do it in the packaging. Put the packaging like back to back, the blister pack. And that's what I have found the most efficient way to use the space on the uh, new portal here for superchargers. If you want to cut this out for your storage, your sort masters, your power race stackable tackle boxes, go ahead and do that before you pull the vehicle out. We don't care about that, we just want it loose and ready to go. So we're going to break this down, pull up here, and it is out. So. This is the Tomb Buggy. It definitely looks better out of the packaging. We did it justice, in my opinion, pulling it out. So check this out. You sort of got the vibe of like the Roller Brawl classic, you know, uh, skates, you know, with the blades. You sort of pick up on that on the wheel structure. The tires uh, mimic that. They've got the nice, sort of like an undead gray color to them. It almost looks like, man, I haven't checked it, but I wonder how much of this, if any of it, would glow in the dark. That would be interesting to know. Uh, right there, though, you've got sort of like the spikes on the tires. While that's super cool looking, it's pr and it would provide extra traction if you're like wheeling them around outside in the real world. But uh, for racing purposes, like here on a flat surface like the pool table, it might slow things down a smidgen with the extra friction right but uh, right here so what we have it's a single seat that is interesting uh, nice color scheme it looks sort of purple but I assure you it's kind of like the classic undead gray like if we bring the vehicle over here you can kind of color match well not necessarily this looks slightly different because it's you know the plastic or rubber but uh, take my word for it it's an off gray color 
Uh, the exhaust pipe kind of has like a nice sort of like a tungsten finish, kind of like a, uh, I guess it'd be more of like a jet hot coating, really. Uh, it's not like stainless, it's not really polished, but it's just sort of like a nice finish on the uh, metal exhaust pipes. Ooh, nice work there on the rear shock absorbers. You can see the exhaust uh, circling around the Undead Element logo. Sort of got your uh, trailing arms there. Let's see. That's just a nice shiny spot. I guess that's sort of where like the front A arms were kind of tying in, if you will. Um, front axle spins fairly freely. Rear axle, the same. So this thing could have potential. Right here, though, pay attention if you can. See that? It looks like a jawline. That's because it is. <laughs> and something cool here that I didn't know in the packaging. Right here on the intake, sort of like what would be the blower, you know, top end, you know, sort of your... Essentially, if you were on a hot rod, you know, you would have this tied in with your throttle uh, cable, and then whenever you rev it up, give it gas, it's going to open up the butterflies. This doesn't have butterflies that open, but it doesn't have them that are closed. It's actually open. And that is actually cool because you get a nice little aesthetic there. It sort of lets light in. Um, you can kind of see the green in my finger through there. That's actually pretty cool. Now, if you were someone inclined to do so, you could throw some like green or pink SMD LEDs in there. And that would actually shine through quite sinisterly, I must say. Speaking of green, we sort of got the you know eyes here done up in that sort of like acid undead color. I have to say... If you see these shots in between like your load screens and everything, it'll call this a Grave Panther. And when you tie in that jawline and then sort of like the skull structure, I just sort of equate it to that. And then this is sort of like the, you know, backbone rib cage type areas, if you will. Uh, it's covering up what looks to be like some sort of a turbine <laughs> support or something. Overall, though, it's just a freaking sweet looking ride. Let's go ahead and check it out here. So... Oh yeah, that rolls quite well actually. Again, it would do better without the spikes, but hey, they're cool. So what we want to do now, we're going to set that down and we're going to come in and actually take a look at this. So this is the tomb buggy. Uh, there's the armor, top speed, acceleration, handling, and weight. Again, I wish there were numbers there. <laughs> there are not. Uh, the attack, spread the love. Tap attack one to blast a spread shot of undead power at enemies. And unfair play, hold attack 3 to grind nearby enemies with wheel energy. Coming down here, you can see, that's actually a good shot of her in the tomb buggy. You can sort of see all the uh, details we've just described. Performance mods, you've got the Grave Cracklers for plus 10 handling. The Ghastly Speedsters, plus 15 acceleration, minus 10 weight. The Rib Rattlers for plus 10 top speed and supercharged only. You get the Bone Saw Rippers, plus 150 armor, plus 5 top speed, and plus 5 acceleration. Over here on the specialty mods, you've got the Booster for plus 10 acceleration. And again, that's kind of box stock. Ecto Engine, which is very cool, plus 5 top speed and acceleration. Tombstone Smoker, plus 300 armor. And lastly, your supercharged option, the Vampire Ventilation, for plus 10 top speed. Four Horns, which again is pretty default. Uh, they're all the same aesthetics, if you will. But you've got the Scream Screech, Underworld Hum, Organ Blast, and the Spectral Spooker. So, let's go ahead and bring this back up in my hand and tell you a bit more about it. If you are using the Tomb Buggy, be prepared for bouncing when racing as Tomb Buggy. It's a light vehicle and gets pushed around easily. That sounds about on par for a Dune Buggy type thing. Tomb Buggy also hangs in the air forever after boost pad assisted jumps. Use unfair play to keep anyone from passing. It also comes with a little boost of speed, so keep unfair play active whenever you pick up power pods. If Spread the Love was in high school, it would be voted attack least likely to require aiming. That sounds like a good thing. It's a wide spread of missiles that fly directly ahead and hit everything. Individual missiles don't do much damage, but when you fire six at a time, something is bound to get hit. Very cool there. Now, if you're racing the Tomb Buggy and having trouble, here's what they advise. Try to spin out Tomb Buggy before passing. It's a light vehicle and nudging it, especially in corners, frustrates the driver. But unfair play makes driving too close ill-advised. Spread the love can be dangerous if Tomb Buggy is close enough behind you that all the missiles hit, so try to slide to a side if you see Tomb, tomb Buggy in the rear view mirror. So, sort of some extra insights there for you, but again, we've kind of introduced it. You can see those videos. I'll probably have them linked in the description for you, but... 
I have to say, uh, car and driver right here, this is a sweet little combination. Uh, the supercharged, well, I'm not a huge fan of like the wheels on it. They make sense for a video game, not like real life aesthetics or physics, but it looks awesome both in standard and supercharged form. Really do like the pink and black. I think that's a nice aesthetic. And interestingly, it matches Bone Bash Roller Brawl, does it not? So nice combination here. Again, that's our little custom painted uh, Heartbreaker Roller Brawl. But uh, we'll sit this down. Last thing we need to do is showcase the sticker sheet for your storage containers or whatever you do with them. Nice little artwork there. Basically what we saw in the strategy guide just on a smaller scale. So for myself, Bone Bash Roller Brawl, and of course the Toon Buggy, thanks so much for watching. If you're super into Skylanders, I encourage you to check out the Skylander Club forum. Set it up for people like yourself, skylanderclub.com. Uh, personal website, moneofwisdom.com. Just recently redone that. Uh, Going to be adding some more posts to it here shortly, so be sure to check that out. Let me know what you think of it. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, we will catch you back here for more Skylander Superchargers unboxings.